Uh, my Lords, <coughs> this bill comes at a time of very wide distress amongst young people. Um, the NHS reports that 25% of 17 to 19 year olds are experiencing significant mental health problems. And even if we adjust that and imagine that it's quite a bit of ordinary human unhappiness, there is great distress at the moment. And we should be careful to protect services that help those, those young people. And they're presenting with a wide range of mental health uh, concerns. And that's across the whole spectrum, but it was particularly true at the end of the spectrum this bill is focused on. In the CAS review, they noted that 70% uh, of the young people presenting had more than five different uh, forms of mental health problem, like trauma, depression. Uh, and uh, the sheer complexity of these, of these mental health uh, concerns only adds to the importance of talking therapy, of protecting psychiatric services in the country. And that's against a backdrop in which the use of drugs is, is, is increasing tremendously. We heard about this in, in, the, uh, in our inquiry, in our House of Lords inquiry last year into the integration of primary and community care, where far too, far too many drugs are being prescribed to all age groups and to young people, and they're being prescribed because there are insufficient uh, mental health services and in, in, insufficient other ways of looking after people. So drugs are not the way forward. Talking therapies are all we've got. And we might be careful about limiting talking therapies in any way, particularly for this very small group that is subject to this bill. If there's a harm that's in the bill, the first harm is that they themselves might find a, a limitation in access to talking therapies. They themselves might find that the therapists who might have been available to them have moved sideways or moved else, elsewhere. And the bill obviously criminalizes uh, discussion and activity to an extraordinary extent. O only in England would a conversation with pronouns at one end and puberty blockers at the other have a policeman somewhere in the middle trying to give expression to clause one of the bill. It it's an extraordinary uh, intervention into public health. But more broadly than this group, we can't afford any reduction in mental health services for young people. We can't at this point, restrict the services at all. We, we have, we're in no position to do that. There's at best 11,000 psychiatrists working in, in public health in this country across all age groups. Maybe only a few thousand are dealing with young people. Only a small change in that number downwards would increase the distress of tens of thousands of young people and their families. It's an extraordinary sensitive area for us to wander in with criminal justice. So I only sum up, and I want to speak quickly, that, that um, this bill is in conflict with mental health services and with mental health provision in the country. And it, it seeks to bring criminal justice, and actually, and politics, into the most sensitive area of uh, public health and mental health to the detriment of young people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.